But if you close your eyes Does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all have had a good day. So I'm sorry I kind of sound a little sick today. I woke up and I just like had a sore throat and you know my nose is like inflamed or something. Kind of sucks but whatever. So today we're going to talk about the fat positivity movement or the anti-fat phobia movement. Whatever you want to call it. Now if you've watched this channel for any period of time over the last two years you've probably seen me make a video talking about these beluga whales like saying the fucking most retarded shit on the planet. But just in case you haven't here's a little refresh. Sure. Oh my god, I'm so sick of mainstream body positivity. You're fat. Because most mainstream body positivity is just straight-sized people reassuring other straight-sized people that they aren't fat. Bro, what the hell is a straight-sized person? I feel like every time I watch one of these things, it's like a new phrase I'm learning, bro. Like, every single time they're just making up these new fucking phrases that I gotta memorize. Like, what the fuck is a straight-sized person? Is a fat person, like, a gay-sized person? Like, what the fuck are you even talking about, dude? You know? I'm not healthy. I'm not a skinny person. I'm a straight-sized person. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm not 500 pounds. I'm not about to die from fucking heart failure. No, I'm a gay-sized person. That's right, I'm gay-sized. Sized. Oh my god, dude. It's just a bunch of people saying things like, you're not fat, you're bloated. You're not fat, that's where your uterus is. Literally any excuse just to reassure their followers that their worst fear hasn't come true. So I just want to be really clear about something. I am not interested in soothing your fear of being fat. I am interested in creating a world that has no reason to fear fatness. Yeah, the thing is, though, is that the world should fear being fat, because being fat is bad. It's objectively unhealthy, bro, okay? It's not like you're gay or something, where you're just different or something, and that should be normalized. No, you're objectively unhealthy, bitch. Straight up. I feel like a fucking retard even explaining this, bro. I feel like I'm losing IQ points every video I fucking explain something so simple, so reasonable to somebody, and they just don't fucking get it, you know? That's a very good segue into our main topic for today, the reason why I made this video in the first place. So, Lizzo... If you don't know who Lizzo is, bro, she's basically a rapper, and her whole niche, her whole gimmick going on is that she's fat, she's overweight, she's like 5 billion pounds or whatever. That's basically all she has going on, bro. She has this fucking deluded fan base of people that are like, oh my god, you know, fat positivity, bro. Lizzo made it, so can I. Being a beluga whale is awesome, dude. And speaking of Lizzo, I attended one of her concerts the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. She really made a big splash, if you know what I mean, bro. So, Lizzo posted something on Instagram the other day. And I'm not joking about this, bro. I'm not photoshopping this at all, bro. She literally said this. I gained weight. I look good. Lizzo displays her curves in dark brown leotard as she shows her dance moves in a sizzling clip. Now, I feel like any normal person would find out that they gained weight on the scale and be like, oh, shit, dude. Gotta work out. Gotta eat healthier. Or maybe they just don't care. And honestly, I kind of respect it. I'm not like somebody who's like, oh, fuck fat people, dude. I hate fat people. Time to beat them up or something. No, okay. Like, if somebody's fat and they're like, yeah, I'm fat, whatever. That's cool. That's fine, right? But like, if you're somebody who's in such denial that you find out that you gained weight and you're literally like, oh my god, queen, I look so good. Oh my god, I'm so fat and strong and independent. It's like, no, bitch. At this point, you're overdosing on pure copium, bro. Okay? You are overdosing on copium, bitch. You are not healthy. You are not beautiful. Only your fans who are also overdosing on copium believe that, bro. But the facts are that you're gonna fucking die probably, you know, way, way, way too early because you think that being fat is good and, like, powerful or whatever. It's like, no, okay? There's nothing powerful about being a beluga whale. Anyway, guys, thank you for coming to today's whale watch. Uh, yeah, see ya.